erect, functional, if you will, for the most part. And I'm very anti-conquering, actually. I don't like, I feel like it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be, right? But this one gentleman that I, um, that I had an encounter with, he insisted that you know, he just couldn't feng shui without the conquering. And you know, I really was feeling him and stuff, because you know, I, I really wanted to get my groove theory on, because I had been doing my own thing for just a little too long. And so I, I compromised, we came to an agreement. He wouldn't wear a cock ring, he would wear an onion ring. Yes, yes. And it worked wonders, beautiful people, because by the time I looked down when we were finished, that, uh, that onion ring slash cock ring, if you will, had turned into an onion blossom. <laughs> yes, it was quite, it left me in tears, and not because of the onion, <laughs> but it worked. Well, moving on, um, I get to be a, a part of the DS of the Comedy Rose of Broke Ass Doer for San Francisco Sex Fest on Thursday, January 14th. Thank you, Megan Clark. Thank you so, so much, Beauty Radio and Beauty Radio.fm listeners. I just want to try out some bits here, and uh, let's see. Well, you know, one, one comic, fabulous, her name is Cheryl White, if any of you have met her. Uh, she's a fabulous, fabulous comic, fabulous person. She wears uh, hair tinsels on her, on her hair. You know, there's like kind of those glittery uh, tin, um, strap things and stuff. And so what I want to tell Cheryl White about her hair tinsels is that, you know, I love the hair tinsels, Cheryl, they're so beautiful. I mean, did I tell you not that hair tinsels are a great cover-up for stubborn sperm that just will not get out when a guy finishes on top of your head? <laughs> well, at least we know, Cheryl, that you're not swallowing. <laughs> All of it, that is. That's one bit. <laughs> Moving on. Um, there's also the very fabulous Ash Fisher. She has a fabulous, fabulous comic. She's a, a very out and proud lesbian, and I believe she defines as a lipstick lesbian. Yes, yeah, so, so a little like feminine uh, uh, lesbians, if you will. And you know, I believe Ash Fisher when she tells me that she is a lipstick lesbian because uh, we went to the uh, makeup counter to try out different lipsticks, and she was the only person that left. Uh, thick, wiry hairs on the tip of every lipstick that she tried on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yes, yes, I mean, Ash Fisher's lips will not be the only pair of lips that will, be, that will have on the new MAC Lavender Labia. Oh. Okay, so um, there's also the very fabulous Big T Terrell Butler from Oakland 510, my big black bear. I love him. Yes, he will also be part of the dais. And he is a hardcore Raiders fan, Big T Terrell. Yes, he is a hardcore Raiders fan, outer pride, and I believe him that he is a you know a very proud 100% Raiders fan because you know Raiders, black and silver, and it makes perfect sense for Big T Terrell Butler because you know black for his beautiful skin and silver for those ashy elbows that he has. <laughs> and you know I'm not sure why, but I actually did some research for Big T. And uh, people that he's had uh, intimate encounters with in the past, and that's not a joke, they actually exist, um, told me that, uh, you know, once they saw his uh, Raiders package, if you will, Big T should be named Little T. Oh. I mean, when they showed me pictures of it, I wanted another eye patch, Raiders fans. <laughs> Thank you all so, so much. My name is Susie, you all better